good. We are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. We're talking the Black Bottom Film Festival. It 425th at the August Wilson Center, and there's so much going on. I just want to keep on rolling here. Um, yeah. So let's talk about now the film that ends the festival. Yes. Okay. It's very exciting. Um, this is a film called um, Betty Davis. They say I'm different, and not Betty Davis, the film actress, mm -hmm. but Betty Mabry Davis, who is from Pittsburgh originally, from Homestead actually, mm -hmm. and was married to Miles Davis, and was the inspiration for Miles Davis's seminal album. Bitches Brew. No kidding. She also wow. was a performer and a songwriter and a model and um, wrote a lot of music for people like the Chamber Brothers, but she was known for her lingerie like people that we know uh -huh. and love, like Prince. Prince okay. Considered right. her to be an inspiration. Madonna hasn't called her an inspiration, but she got a lot of flack for that in the early 70s. I was going to say, because in that era, that was all 70s, kind of right. unheard of. And then right. she just dropped out of sight. Okay. But there were people all over the world that were that followed that her followed and loved her, her work and were wondering where she was. And so there were two filmmakers, one who's British and one who's Italian, who went out to search for her. And they did this documentary compiling stories and information from people around the world mm -hmm. and interviewing her. Okay. And this is, and this is this the is product of that. Oh, okay. This is the one you talked about. Yeah. Now, that's at the end of the festival. So is yes. that Sunday night? That's on Sunday night. Okay. We'll wrap up the festival with that film. But it's really exciting because we're getting inform we're getting uh, inquiries from around the world about this film. It's only been screened in Amsterdam. Oh, so this will be the awesome. U.S. premiere. Awesome. Okay, yeah. let's take a look at our mm -hmm. next poster here. I, don't, I yes. want to make sure we get them all in. We only yes. got about four minutes so left. So Cinderella okay. Man is a, a film that... Um, it was um, a pr the production designer was Wynn Thomas, and that mm -hmm. is who we are giving the um, Cinematic Award for Excellence to okay. this year. He is the first African American production designer. Hmm. His work is also um, familiar to us in Malcolm X, Spike Lee's film Malcolm X, and most recently Hidden Figures. Now, I'm curious if you know, and this is a, a trick question. How old is Wynn Thomas? Do you know? Well, he's probably in his 80s. Okay. All yeah. right. I'm always fascinated when we yeah. talk about first. Mm -hmm. You know, he was the first. He was the first yeah. production designer on any major film awesome. um, that was African American or, or of color, I would say. Okay. And he'll be here with us and we'll be presenting him with an award. All right. Let's take a look at the next one. The next film is called Double Play and um, this is our Saturday independent feature produced by Lisa Cortez. She will be here mm -hmm. to discuss this film. Um, it's about poverty and wealth and um, the people that you see on that poster and their different um, experiences as they talk about their poverty and their wealth hmm. and, and, and how that, um, and perspective on poverty and wealth. Interesting, mm -hmm. okay, I think we have another one. Yes. Gabby. Gabby Cibide, this is her directorial debut. Um, the movie is called Tale of Four and we know her from Precious. Um, she will not be with us, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but we will be screening her film. Her film, right. and I had no idea she was directing. Yeah, yeah she's doing so some that's things. awesome. And then I think we have one more, which we've actually talked about here on the show before, but I got to mention it again. Yes. In part because when um, people, so many people have asked me when they could see this film. Yes, well, you can see it this, um, at the Black Bottom Film Festival. Mm -hmm. um, the director is Billy Jackson, and we're really excited about having this film screened. He's such a, uh, Wendell Freeland is such an important figure in civil rights, not just here in Pittsburgh, oh, but nationally. Absolutely. Um, former Tuskegee Airmen. So this is a big deal for us. Absolutely. We're, we're thrilled to have it at the August Wilson Center. Okay. So basically the film, and folks probably need to go to a website to really figure out what mm -hmm. films are playing when. Yes. But it seems to me that your best bet is just to buy the weekend pass. I would buy the weekend pass. You're getting a lot of films for $55. Mm -hmm. You're getting receptions. There'll be a reception on, on Friday as we kick off the festival. There'll be a reception on Sunday as we wrap up the festival we'll, with complimentary hors d'oeuvres and cocktails and things like that. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a great weekend and well worth the cost of the pass. Absolutely. And, you know, I mean, we're lucky in Pittsburgh that we have this because a lot of cities do not have film festivals of this quality. Yeah, we're very fortunate. And to, for it to only be in its second year, I'm very, very proud of it. And it's truly um, a project of the August Wilson Center. Mm -hmm. It originated there. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's where it lives and um, the building is perfect for it because we have breakout sessions, we have 
acting workshops, directing workshops, and the directors of these films are on the on hand to talk to people as they see the film to Wait answer Wait a minute, I'm questions. sorry, we only have a minute left, but back up a minute. You said directing workshops, acting workshops, yes. so for budding filmmakers, yes. there's an opportunity for them here as well. Yes, and there are student pass, uh, student rates for passes too. And you can find all of that on the website. Okay, and the website is? awc.trustarts.org. It's your website. Well, we well, have a brand new website about to launch. I'll be back on the show to talk about uh, that. <laughs> you notice how everybody works that in. They'll be yeah, back we'll on be the back. show. But in this case, it's going to happen. All right. Thanks yes. so much for joining us today. Thank you. And we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, I'm going to introduce you to Ian. He is this week's waiting child.